Have you ever wondered how to harvest kohlrabi and cook a delicious bone stew with it? Welcome to a culinary journey that intertwines gardening, cooking and commerce. This adventure begins in a garden, where we'll learn how to recognize when kohlrabi is ripe for picking and the best techniques to harvest this versatile vegetable. From the garden, we'll transition into the kitchen, where we'll prepare a comforting and hearty bone stew with our freshly picked kohlrabi. I'll guide you through every step of the cooking process, ensuring your stew is packed full of flavor and nutrition. Finally, we'll take our delicious creation to the market. I'll share insights on how to price your stew, attract customers, and make a successful sale. This isn't just about cooking, it's about bringing your hard work to the world. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge to take a kohlrabi from your garden to the market. Let's embark on this journey together. Harvesting kohlrabi is a simple process that requires just a few steps. Let's dive into this fascinating journey of bringing this nutritious vegetable from your garden to your kitchen. First up, timing is crucial. Kohlrabi is best harvested when it's young and tender. The ideal size is about two to three inches in diameter, roughly the size of a tennis ball. Any larger, and the kohlrabi may become woody and tough. You'll know it's time to harvest when you see the bulbous stem peeking out from the soil surface. Identifying a mature kohlrabi is relatively easy. Once it reaches the desired size, the skin of the kohlrabi will take on a deep, vibrant hue. The color depends on the variety you're growing. It could be a rich purple or a bright green. The leaves should stand tall and proud, displaying a healthy shade of green. Now let's talk about the tools you'll need for harvesting. A sharp, clean pair of garden shears or a knife will do the trick. You want to avoid pulling the kohlrabi out of the ground with your hands, as this could damage the plant and the surrounding soil structure. To harvest your kohlrabi, gently hold the plant at the base near the soil. With your other hand, use your tool to cut the stem just above the soil level. Be careful not to cut too close to the bulb, as this can cause it to split. After harvesting, trim off the leaves and roots, but make sure to save those greens. They're packed with flavor and nutrients, perfect for stir fries or soups. The harvested kohlrabi can be stored in a cool, dry place, where it will keep for several weeks. Remember, harvesting is more than just a task. It's a celebration of your efforts and the cycle of nature. Each kohlrabi is a testament to your hard work and patience. And there you have it, fresh kohlrabi right from your garden. Next, we'll move on to preparing this versatile veggie for a hearty bone stew, so stay tuned. Before we start cooking, we need to prepare our harvested kohlrabi. First off, let's give our kohlrabi a good rinse under running water to wash off any garden dirt. It's important to ensure that all our ingredients are clean for a wholesome meal. Once it's all clean, we are going to peel off the tough, outer skin. A simple vegetable peeler will do the trick. Now that we have our kohlrabi peeled, we're going to cut it. Cutting the kohlrabi into the right size is crucial for our stew. We want pieces that are bite-sized but not too small that they disintegrate during cooking. So, let's aim for cubes of about one inch. Remember, while cutting, it's not just about the size but also maintaining uniformity. This ensures all pieces cook evenly and you don't end up with some chunks too soft while others are still hard. Now our kohlrabi is clean and ready to be turned into a delicious stew. Now comes the fun part cooking our bone stew with kohlrabi. In the world of hearty stews, our bone stew with kohlrabi is a standout. It's a fusion of robust flavors, a marriage of tender meat and the fresh, crisp taste of kohlrabi. The kohlrabi, freshly harvested from our garden, lends its unique flavor, enhancing the richness of the stew. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. The ingredients you need are quite simple. A good piece of bone in meat, be it beef or pork, a couple of kohlrabi bulbs, a handful of your favorite root vegetables, some aromatic herbs, and a splash of your favorite broth. First, let's focus on the star of our show, the kohlrabi. This versatile vegetable has a mild, sweet flavor with a hint of radish. After peeling off its tough outer layer, chop it into cubes. Don't discard the leaves. They are edible and packed with nutrients. Chop them up too. They'll add a nice touch of green to our stew. The meat is next, you want a good boning cut. The bone is key here as it gives the stew its deep flavor. Season it well with salt and pepper, then sear it on all sides to lock in those flavors. Once it's browned, remove it from the pot and set it aside. In the same pot, add a drizzle of oil if needed, then toss in your chopped kohlrabi and other root vegetables. 
let them mingle and get to know each other. Once they're slightly softened, add your herbs. A bouquet garni of thyme, bay leaves and parsley works wonders here. Let those aromatic herbs infuse their flavours into the vegetables. Now, return the browned meat to the pot, nestling it among the vegetables. Pour in your broth, enough to cover the ingredients. As the stew comes to a boil, lower the heat and let it simmer. Here's where patience pays off. Allow the stew to simmer for a good two to three hours. This slow cooking process allows the flavors to meld together, the meat to become tender, and the kohlrabi to soak up all those wonderful flavors. Halfway through, remember those chopped kohlrabi leaves? Toss them in. They'll wilt down and add a touch of earthiness to the stew. As the stew cooks, the kohlrabi will become tender, its sweet flavor complementing the richness of the meat. The bone will have imparted its flavor to the broth, creating a stew that's hearty, comforting, and bursting with flavor. After hours of slow simmering, your bone stew with kohlrabi is ready. The aroma filling your kitchen is a testament to your culinary skills. The taste, simply divine. Ladle it into bowls, ensuring each has a good share of meat, kohlrabi, and broth. Garnish with a sprig of fresh parsley if you wish. Serve hot and enjoy your homemade bone stew with kohlrabi. Now that our bone stew with kohlrabi is ready, it's time to take it to the market. Setting up a stall at a bustling market is an exciting endeavor. It's not just about selling, it's an opportunity to interact with a diverse group of people, share stories, and learn from others. Our first task is to establish our presence. We need a table, a sign, and most importantly, an inviting display of our delectable bone stew with kohlrabi. Pricing our stew requires a careful balance. We want to cover our costs, but we also need to offer value to our customers. We need to consider the cost of our ingredients, the time and effort we put into our garden, and the cooking process. But let's not forget, this isn't just any stew, it's a stew made with love and homegrown kohlrabi, which brings us to our unique selling point. The heart of our marketing strategy is our homegrown kohlrabi. We didn't just pick up this vegetable from a store, no, we planted it, nurtured it, harvested it, and cooked it into this delicious stew. It's fresh, it's organic, and it's packed with nutrients. This isn't just a meal, it's a wholesome experience. When we interact with potential customers, we don't just sell them a bowl of stew, we share our journey. We talk about our garden, the joy of harvesting kohlrabi, and the process of cooking it into this hearty stew. We share our passion for gardening and cooking, and in turn, inspire others to explore these activities themselves. Remember, every customer interaction is an opportunity to share our story. It's not just about making a sale, it's about creating a connection, building a community around our shared love for fresh, homegrown food. And there you have it, from the garden to the market, a complete journey of kohlrabi.